Hello, uh, today is the 14th of September 2012. Um, this is the Anarchist with uh, another message to the people. So today, papers ran graphic photos of Christopher Stevens, the ambassador that was killed in Libya. Uh, basically, it's, uh, the picture shows a dying Christopher Stevens being dragged through the streets of Benghazi by people trying to save his life. The New York Times ran a picture on its website drawing an official complaint from the State Department which requested that it be removed. The Times refused. <coughs> Such decisions were never easy and this one was harder than most, Philip Corbett, the paper's associate editor for Standards, wrote in, his, in reply to, his, to this request. But this chaotic and violent event was extremely significant as a news story and we believe this photo helps to convey the situation to Times readers in a powerful way. On that basis, we think the photo was newsworthy and important to our coverage, but the paper did not run the image on its Thursday front page, a decision the Times public editor, Margaret Sullivan, said she agreed with. Other papers, however, did use the picture. The Los Angeles Times ran it above the fold and took up the entire front page of the New York Daily News. Um, so the picture, if you haven't seen it yet, it's basically um, a guy uh, being dragged um, he's kind of like in a, in a sit-up position and they're dragging him away. He's got his shirt lifted slightly. Um, at first I thought it was, it was a guy that was tugging on his hair from how, cause, cause the, the guy who was, was pulling on him has a cell phone in his hand, in his mouth. And he's pulling him away. And, uh, uh, I thought he had it, his hand in the guy's hair, but it wasn't, that wasn't actually it. That was my first reaction from the picture. Um, but, uh, Another thing is, it looks like well, it looks like it may be a gash on his forehead, but it's actually it might uh, might also be a tuft of hair that that lifted over. Basically, my first reaction to this was that was that these rioters were dragging people were dragging this guy out in the street, which I my my initial thought <clears throat> my initial thought to it was that these these are the protesters dragging him away. And, you know, this photo is basically a disrespect, you know, showing a disrespect to his body. But that's not really explained. Um, like, the New York Daily News is basically just a picture of him. It, and the, the headline is, You will pay warships on the way as to, to the Libyan coast as Obama vows justice for murdered diplomat. So... There's a little bit of speculation going around that this whole situation, because because he wasn't actually killed with like a rock or a or a, a bullet, he he died of of smoke asphyxiation. And what would you think the odds would be that this assassination would be targeted or like actually created by, let's say, the CIA? Right to have a, the death of an ambassador, which is going to bring a lot of um, people's emotions and stuff like that, brought up about their love of the country, and uh, so, what do you think the odds are that they that they did this to their own guy, right? That they set fire to his to his uh, uh, ambass to his to his embassy, both outside and within, basically killed the guy. And uh, then broadcast the video, or broadcast the photo of um, of him being dragged away. Like my, like I said, my initial reaction to the photo was is that they were is that the the protesters were dragging him away. But then again, I, I I had a sneaky suspicion that this smoke inhalation thing. I don't know. I just it just it, it kind of scares me about what the, what the implications of that. And this photo, it looks like it's released, um, or the, the New York Daily News, but it has no explanation of what the picture actually represents. The people trying to save his life, not trying to kill him. You know that's that's the most that's the most important thing about this picture is that they're pulling him away to save his life. But the way that the picture is framed, um, it looks like they're they. If I didn't know any better, if I didn't have my, my deep-seated suspicions already, um, I mean, I would have thought that the 
pro that the protesters were taking him away to do whatever with him, right? So that's just my thought about like what do, what do you think the odds would be? But uh, it's gonna be pretty good odds. <laughs> All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.